Hey guys, Mr. Mitchell here, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to go over two worked examples on absolute, fractional and percentage uncertainty. So if you haven't already done so, check out my other video covering the theory on this and this will help you answer these questions. Let's get started. Question 1 says that a single measurement of voltage is taken as 10.0 volts with an uncertainty of plus or minus 0.5 volts. Express this result with the uncertainty in the following forms. So we've got absolute for part A, fractional for part B and percentage for part C. So remember, in absolute form, all we do is we take our number Number, plus or minus the uncertainty. So we take 10.0 plus or minus 0.5, put them in brackets and put volts after it and that way we don't have to write volts twice. Part B in fractional form, remember the relationship for the fractional uncertainty is equal to the absolute uncertainty divided by the measurement. So all we do is we take the 0.5 and we divide it by the 10.0 and we end up with plus or minus 0.05. Notice there's no units here because it's just a fraction, it's not actually in volts. And lastly, part C, it says percentage form. So remember to get a percentage uncertainty, we take our absolute uncertainty and divide by the measurement, then times by 100. So we take our 0.5 divided by 10.0 times 100 and this gives an answer of plus or minus 5%. If you then wanted to write the measurement of 10.0 volts with the percentage uncertainty, it would look like this. So 10.0 volts plus or minus 5%. Question 2 says that a pupil carries out an experiment to find the resistance of an unknown resistor. He uses an analog meter to measure the voltage across it which he records as 6.2 plus or minus 0.1 volts. He then uses a digital meter to measure the current through the resistor which he records as 28.55 plus or minus 0.01 milliamps. Part A says which form of uncertainty are these readings given in? Well we can see that both of them are given in absolute form with the brackets around them and the units appearing after the brackets. Part B says to calculate the percentage uncertainty in the voltage reading. So we're going to look at the voltage reading over here so we get 6.2 plus or minus 0.1 volts. Remember percentage uncertainty is the absolute uncertainty divided by the measurement times 100. So this gives us a 0.1 divided by the 6.2 times 100 which gives a percentage uncertainty of plus or minus 1.6%. Part C says to calculate the percentage uncertainty in the current reading. So we're looking over here this time and same again percentage uncertainty is the absolute uncertainty over the measurement times 100 gives us 0.01 divided by 28.55. Remember the milliamps don't matter here because they will cancel out in this division. Times 100 gives us plus or minus 0.035%. That's all for now folks. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.